From birth, I knew there was something different about Naftali. He was passive. Heather Gal Wardinsky is describing her 12-year-old son, Naftali, and how different he was from his twin sister, Tsipora. It took a little while, but Avigal's intuition eventually became a mother's feared diagnosis. By 15 months, he had a diagnosis of autism, moderate to profound. That allowed Naftali to begin intensive behavioral and physical intervention that today allows him to be mainstreamed, he even understands a little about his condition. Is that my brain's larger and my head shaped different? Sometimes I wish it worked like every other normal boy. Experts say that early intervention like Naftali's makes a big difference in an autistic's eventual functioning. So what if there were a way to predict earlier on who's going to develop autism? Even before we are born, certain essential elements are not metabolized or regulated well in those children who end up developing autism. Uh, the two elements that we've found to be most dysregulated are zinc and copper. Dr. Aurora and colleagues at Mount Sinai are able to detect this copper and zinc dysregulation by drilling tiny holes through baby teeth and analyzing the way those elements are embedded in the growth rings of teeth. The goal is to find even earlier markers than teeth. A biomarker or an assay, a test that allows us to tell mothers and fathers that their child is perhaps at higher risk. Naftali is doing so well, he and his sister have the same conflicts of any 12-year-olds. Even though he sometimes doesn't see it, I actually do love him a bit, um, but most of the time it makes it very hard for me to because he'll start screaming at me without telling me why. Just like any 12-year-olds, right? The importance of early detection and diagnosis is that there are certain developmental windows in young children for language, socialization, and so on, and those start to close in early childhood. That window of opportunity for intervention is critical for improving function in an autistic child. So we'll start with teeth, but now we've got to move into some sort of earlier biomarker. And siblings, too. <laughs> that, that helps. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fix that problem. <laughs>